Hey Rockheads, I'm Buddy, the community manager for Akupara Games, and welcome to the second Grime Weapon Showcase. Today, I'm gonna show off the Fossil Fist and the Bellow Mace. But first, I want to introduce everyone to a new friend. This is Bill. Bill spawns right next to a checkpoint, which means it's pretty convenient for me to um, test these weapons on him. Wait, 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 Bill! Oh, no! All right, let's try this again. The Fossil Fist is a fast attacking pair of punchers. The basic attack is a one-two punch that briefly stuns and knocks back. The special attack knocks your enemies airborne. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but it does prevent Bill here from attacking me by knocking him on his butt. The aerial basic holds me and Bill midair for a second, hitting him with a two punch combo. Finally, the aerial special is a swift, brutal diagonal strike. Just like the ground special, it also knocks Bill right on his butt. Putting it all together, the Fossil Fist kind of plays like this. Getting that core Fossil Fist combo down can really tear through isolated enemies. As long as you land the initial uppercut, it's just not hard to take them down. But uh, timing it can be tricky. If you whiff the special, remember, the basic attack briefly stuns and it might just give you the window you need. Things can get dicey if you're fighting multiple opponents, so use that airtime to your advantage. But what about the Bellow Mace? This weapon is slow, but what it lacks in speed, it makes up in damage. You can see the basic attack knocks Bill on his butt and it only takes two hits to kill him. And you can see the special attack is where the Bellow Mace gets its name. In the air, the Bellow Mace just kind of bonks Bill on his head. This doesn't do a ton of damage, but it will spike airborne enemies back to the ground. The aerial special, though, is where the real damage comes in. You'll spin twice doing insane damage if you can land both hits. Putting it all together, this is what the Bellow Mace is all about. You're gonna find that timing is really important to development. If you can knock your enemies down, you'll just have all the time you need to finish them off. But, you know, sometimes just waiting for your opponents to commit to an attack might give you the opening you need. Just make sure that when you commit to an attack yourself, you leave enough force to dash out of harm's way. Watch the green force bar in the top left corner. I use all of it to attack, leaving none to dodge that. But that's just how the weapons work individually. In Grime, the real mark of a master is a player that can swap between them to shore up weaknesses and emphasize strengths. Which, now watching this clip, I wish I had done because he had like 2 HP left and the mace was such overkill. This one, though, is, like, way better. You can see that I use the aerial special on the fist to set up the ground special on the mace. And that's about it for this weapons showcase. Me and Bill will see you guys in the next one, after I kill him a few dozen times to get all the footage I need. If you haven't already, wishlist Grime on Steam in the link below. And you can tell me in the comments which one of these living weapons you are most excited to play with. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.